Carson Wentz, one thing, even when I thought over the last couple of years his play was just going down, 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 one thing about him, I mean, his talent's obvious. That dude is tough. I was at the Coliseum when he, when he played against the Rams and has an injury. Anyone else, you're in the hospital, and this dude is completing a couple plays afterward. He's very, very tough. I, I hear you on that. Just those last couple of plays when he was standing on the sideline. Like, I don't know why, Key, there's this burning image in my mind. Like, I'm always seeing Carson Wentz hurt or always seeing him on the sideline, and just it's becoming that thing for him yeah, right now. It's weird. I mean, you hurt, and you've got two ankles, and you're standing up. With no crutches, no boots on. Yeah. Just, I, I don't know. Like There's any other time you get hurt as an athlete, like I'm off laying off the side. My leg is elevated. I'm getting iced. I'm in the training room. I'm doing something like that. I'm just not walking up and down the sideline. It's dudes, just weird. There's some dudes, though, whose bodies are just they're more, more fragile, right? And, and those guys, like fans get mad at them. Like it's their fault. Like they're not tough enough. But some dudes, their ligaments and their joints just put together differently. It's not, you know, you think no, that. No, that's true. Yeah. But I, I just, watching him on the sideline, though, Max, I'm like. What's wrong with you? Like seriously, is something really wrong with you because you're standing up and you have to get out of the way of oncoming players. Not only that, I would think that you would be icing your ankles or you would be sitting down somewhere. I just It's just a weird image to see. Max, literally Isaiah Thomas, my rookie year, him and I would talk because I would ask him for advice. And one time I had an injury, and he said, are you hurt or are you injured? Now, Dan Orlovsky said that yesterday, and it brought me back to that moment. If you're injured, I get it. Can't play. You hurt? Like, you play through that. I've heard that a lot. And as someone like just who had herniated discs, if you ever had something like that, sometimes you're frozen in a position. And you have to ask, it's almost like a philosophical question, like, am I actually frozen or am I just so scared of this pain right now mm -hmm. that I, my brain won't let my body move? You know what I mean? Like, some, it's, a, it's, a, it's got to be a threshold for pain that's different with everybody. Yeah, it, it, it is different with everybody. Um because Derek Carr, whatever that ankle injury was, he went back out on the field. Mm -hmm. Same with Baker. Mm -hmm. and say, you know, so it's just popped out shoulder, back on the field. I mean, it just depends on how you can go about handling the pain, that you, if you can tolerate it or not. A couple of athletes with, with raised eyebrows looking at Carson Wentz. Well, I didn't say he quit on his team or anything like that. No, no. Just your just eyebrow, I just said your eyebrows are raised. Him, man. I'm just watching him from the... <laughs> I this feel, makes you think. I feel bad for some dudes who have to – there must be pressure to put on a little bit of a show sometimes, and there must be some dudes who are like, look, I'm not – this is how I'm feeling. I can't put on a show for everybody. I don't want to be that guy. Well, but if you don't, people's eyebrows get – why aren't you doing this? If you're Carson, like, all right, I just had this situation. I had a horrible O-line in Philly. Like, I got beat up a ton in Philly. Now I was supposed to have an O-line here, but I've been hit 22 oh. times already in two games, yeah. sacked six times already. Now I'm supposed to go on the field with two bad ankles and move around the pocket like that? Yes. You're supposed to go on the field with two bad ankles. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.